Lee Hawthorne have been going through a massive scandal of racism. There has been some huge allegations against former coaches Alistair Clarkson and Chris Fagan. The major allegations include bullying of First Nation players akin to human rights abuse and also telling the partners to get rid of their unborn children during traumatic events. With racism being such a hot topic at the moment, I just wanted to go through a couple of things that I think are true and also a couple of things that I think are false. A big problem with this story is that we have past players coming out with allegations. Now these past players are allowed to remain anonymous. Nobody knows who they are but yet Alistair Clarkson and Chris Fagan have been named publicly. Now because of this, their reputations have been tarnished. They've both been forced to take leave without any proof whatsoever. Why should the accusers be allowed to stay anonymous while these two have to cop everything in the spotlight without any proof of these allegations whatsoever? Everybody remembers the Adam Goods incident from 2013. This is when he was called an ape by a 13 year old girl and then had her thrown out of the stadium. He also riled up the crowd with his spear throwing incident. After this, he was subjected to a lot of booing, but there was also another reason for the booing. He had become an extremely dirty player with plays like this. Sam Newman also had this to say at the time, which he was vilified for. Adam, you're not as important as you think you are, that's A. And B, you take yourself far too seriously. If you're going to provoke people, that is, by the gesture of spear throwing at a uh, crowd, a cheer squad, you better not be surprised if you get what you wish for, and that's a reaction. Unfortunately, you're not well enough equipped to deal with the fracas and the saga that you've caused. Uh, you're just not capable of dealing with it, hence the fact that you've gone into hiding, you're not playing anymore. Uh, it is on you, as an Australian of the year, to unite and placate people, not to divide and be a provocateur. Now Speaking of Sam Newman, he also got sued by Nicky Winmar for comments he made on the podcast, You Can't Be Serious. There was a famous game against Collingwood when Nicky Winmar was racially abused by the Collingwood crowd. At the end of the match, he pointed to his skin to say that he was proud of his heritage. Unfortunately, on the podcast, Sam disputed whether it was about racism or whether he was just pointing to his Guernsey and saying that we had a good match. I don't know how that leads to a lawsuit as social commentators can talk about public figures however they like, as long as they're not engaging any slander. But I mean, the footy shows talk about this thing all the time. So I don't know why Sam can't just question anything and talk about whatever he likes on his podcast. Anyhow, Nicky Winmar won this lawsuit and the money ended up going to an Indigenous charity. Whether the money went to a good cause or not is not the point in my opinion. I still think it's extortion either way. And yes, Sam has been given hell about his blackface sketch that was done 25 years ago. And at the time, it probably wasn't seen as insensitive like it is today. But I think one thing the media forgets is there's a lot of other Aussies and even Canadians like Justin Trudeau who have done blackface and no one has said boo about it. The reason people are supposed to be sensitive towards the Indigenous boys is because a lot of them have had either their parents or their grandparents go through the stolen generation. This is an important event and I can see why there should be a bit of sensitivity surrounding this subject. One of the problems of this agenda is that some of them pushing it are not actually Aboriginal themselves and their families have not gone through the stolen generation. Let's have a look at former Collingwood and Melbourne player Harry O'Brien, who then changed his name to Horatio Lumumba, who's actually not Aboriginal himself. He is actually originally from Brazil and then moved to Australia at a young age. He is a race baiter in my opinion and even tried to say that Collingwood had a, a culture that was really bad and that they would harass these Aboriginals and give them crazy names and torture them all the time uh, and they didn't treat them very well. It started with him saying that teammates used to call him chimp which is racist but then a lot of people did question why on the footy record he had the chimp listed as one of his nicknames. He then started tweeting really offensive things like this 
It's time for Gillan McLaughlin to stand down and for the AFL to be led by someone who has the credentials and vision to address the systemic issues it has. McLaughlin is an individual whose family has inherited massive generational wealth from stolen land. He's beyond privileged. And that's what the tweet read. And then there's the racism, it stops with me commercial, which is fine on its own, albeit a little bit cringy. Still a good message, but this is what the commercial looked like back then. If it feels safe, you can speak up or you can report it to someone who can help. But if you say nothing or do nothing, nothing changes. So take a stand. Racism, it stops with me. Laughably, one person that didn't work on was Taylor Walker who continued to be racist even after that commercial aired years ago, and even though he had Eddie Betts in the forward pocket alongside of him. Don't worry, mate. Someday you'll get it. He was hauled through the coals with a six-week ban and a massive fine, uh, and eventually did come back to footy, and it seems like all is forgotten now by the Crow supporters. I'm sick to death of it, being a non-Indigenous person, um, so we need to stop it. Whoopsie. Eddie Betts had this to say on Fox Footy. People are going to say, I don't believe those allegations. What would you say to them? Uh, well, people are going to believe what they are going to believe. But, uh, and, yeah, I guess it is, it is tough and it is hard. But I'm always, going to, I'm always going to believe the players and the brothers. Do you believe all the allegations? Well, it keeps happening. It's, it, we, we grow up with this stuff. So firstly, he said he believes all the allegations, which means he doesn't want to hear both sides of the story, which is why he said, I believe the brothers, which is racist in itself. So you believe the accusers, but not the people who are defending themselves and who we haven't even heard their side of the story yet. And we don't even know who the accusers are. And Eddie says we grew up with this stuff, and I'm sure it was very difficult growing up for a lot of Indigenous players and Aboriginal people, absolutely. Um, but as Europeans, we also did it tough growing up. We also were subject to bullying and racism. Um, I was called uh, Greasy Wog ever since I was in school, playing footy by all kinds of people uh, who were ignorant on what racism actually is. But unfortunately, Eddie, the thing is you have to move on with life and you have to show empowerment. You have to inspire people by getting through things and overcoming them not by whining about them every single day. Especially in pop culture, Albanians are always seen as terrorists, rapists, and drug dealers, uh, and they get beat up by the 60-year-old man in Taken, and I'm telling you that they could drop kick this guy from here back to Ireland. <laughs> uh, but we're always seen this way, always seen in a bad light, and always seen like, um, you know, the terrorist side of things. So, yeah, we get discriminated against, and that's pretty racist in itself. So final thoughts here, you're not going to stamp out racism 100%. There's always going to be idiots in the world. There's always going to be the less than the 1% who are ignorant of the fact. Uh, and they're going to say stupid racist comments just to get under people's skin. On top of that, you've got bots on Twitter and just uh, accounts that are deliberately made up to stir up trouble and cause problems and get people to be argumentative and divisive over the whole thing. Nobody has an issue with Indigenous players. Nobody has an issue with Aboriginals in general, uh, except for those very few minority of people who are probably seen as the most ignorant idiots of the world.